So we're here today with one of the best E30 Tourings in the country and it's owned by Jake and Jake will you be happy to talk us through this build? So it's an E30 Touring, originally it was a 316 and decided I wanted to engine swap it and then basically escalated from there. So the engine so, swap, what yeah. do you put in there? So it's, I bought a Z3 and pulled the engine out of that, so it's a 2.8 and then got basically carried away with smoothing out the engine bay and turned into having to paint the engine bay. <laughs> and then it was like, well, I just well paint the whole car now and had a, found the body kit. So it was like, went for it. And so the body kit, I take it that isn't off the shelf or is it, or is it adapted? Um, yeah, sort of adapted because it's sort of made for a coupe because the rear goes over the rear doors. Um, someone in Poland made it and yeah, good sort of kit. And you just alluded to it a minute ago, so you've gone for a brown. Is that a BMW brown or a bronze? Yeah, so it's a BMW bronze, um, Sepang bronze. It's an individual colour from like the E46s and newer sort of thing. So it's their own colour. So you talked about the clean bay, but did you do any modifications to the 2.8? Yeah, so it's had an induction kit all by Ram Air. Um, the ECU's been mapped, so sort of raised rev limiter and tuned up a bit. Um, other than that, apart from the conversion bits to make it fit, like E34 sump and bits like that, it's not no other bits really. Okay, cool. And it's all stripped out in there. You've got a flock dash two seat Cobra seats and the wheels do you want to talk to me about the wheels so that they look really special yeah so they're BBS RMs um, so had them paint powder coated by Will Unique and it was before I even decided on the colour of the car so it was just luck that it matched um, built them up myself bought the lips originally built them a lot wider than this and just couldn't get the tyres wide enough so I stepped them down again um, but yeah they fit quite well did you do a lot of the work to this car by yourself? Yeah, so done everything myself basically with a couple mates helping doing different things. So is this your kind of scene then? Are you a BMW boy or have you had loads of different cars in the past? Just always wanted an E30 so I had to get it. My dad's always had BMWs and E30s so it's sort of he got me into the E30s and yeah, just always like the BMs and like the old VWs as well so yeah, so. I just noticed as well, you've got polycarbonates all around. Yeah, to lighten it all up, because race car. Race car. <laughs> you got a roll cage? Yeah, full roll cage all the way behind the dash, everything, so it's fully sort of solid. Yeah, and you say you've got a straight through exhaust as well? Yeah, full custom stainless exhaust made by um, Swallow Racing. Um, they did a real good job on that. Aren't they Jaguar spe uh, yeah, special? Yeah, yeah so. Okay, and if you had to pick one modification on the car, what is your favourite? Um, probably the body kit because that sort of makes it different to a standard touring really. And have you got any more plans for the future? Yeah, um, so I've had a livery made so that's potential to go on at some point and then custom side skirts and possibly a rear diffuser okay. so still a lot planned. So you're going to freshen it up maybe for 2025 as obviously this is the end of the show season now? Yeah. Okay cool, I was going to ask you what suspension it's on but uh, I, can, I can work that out. Okay, well, Jake, thank you very much for talking to us today about your car. It's absolutely awesome. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe and share. And give us a comment about this car.